How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another lost and damned walkthrough video. This one is actually a side mission. Congressman Stubbs, after the off route mission is complete, contacts Johnny about oh doing some side missions for him and if Johnny does those side missions he'll be well compensated because he has a sort of unique set of skills and talent that Stubbs finds important and this is a mission that Johnny does after calling Stubbs. It is essentially an assassination mission and it's relatively easy and straightforward, but you kind of got to get Johnny positioned right. Otherwise, he ends up dead because the guy has bodyguards who have automatic weapons. Anyway, Let's get on with this assassination, and I'll show you the pre-call pre that um, Johnny gets before deciding to call Stubbs and doing the mission. Weasel News. Weasel News, where the Clemens, Clemens, you there? I'm here. What can I do you for, Congressman? Oh, listen, Clemens, the taxpayer is picking up the bill for this call, so I'm going to make it brief. The amount of help I need from a man with your skills has tripled in volume, and that's a conservative estimate. If you're interested in helping me out with this, you can call me, and I'll tell you what I need. The pay will be more than adequate. Once you go down the dark path, it just keeps going, don't it, Stubbs? I'll call if I feel the need to keep you in the lifestyle to which you're accustomed. Can you give him a big fuck off from me while you got him? <laughs> I sure will, Sport. Old bastard just got to shut up for a second first. Listen, I need you to deal with an old friend of mine. He's meeting an intern at the Superstar Cafe in Lancaster. First it's family, now it's friends. You're not a good guy to get close to, Stubbs. Personal relationships are one thing, but I always honor a business agreement. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Huge proponent of change. Always have been. Johnny has to ride to this superstar cafe and take down one of uh, Congressman Stubbs' old friends who is interviewing an intern. Now, this gentleman that Stubbs wants Johnny to assassinate has bodyguards, and they are stationed throughout the cafe. And to be honest with you, it's about positioning Johnny correctly with the carbine rifle. Again, the most powerful weapon in GTA 4. And you can take down not only the target, but his bodyguards very quickly. It's just, you're going to make a mess of this cafe and shoot it up. So, really, it's. Like I said, you might as well use the most proper weapon, the carbine, and you position yourself. You will notice when I do bring Johnny into the cafe where I position him. And again, you just shoot everything up. So I'm going to fast forward to the point and let you see how things play out. That's the problem with your generation. You expect everything to come to you at once. You're not used to the hard work. But I've been working 12-hour days a six-month unpaid internship. Positioned Johnny in the back on the stairs, and then you take the target down, 
this bodyguard will shoot at you. And all you gotta do is just keep blasting, take down the bodyguards around the area, and then flee the area. Jump on the motorcycle and get the hell out of the area as quickly as possible. Now, you'll hit an autosave once you've achieved the end of the mission. Save, and then a little further down the road, Johnny will call the congressman, Stubbs, and inform him that the deed is done. I'm doing okay. You are down one good friend to the horrors of gangland violence. I'd make it a campaign issue if I were you. Appreciate the tip, but I think I'll stick to terrorism, the economy, and the environment. Much more fashionable and voter friendly. You can call Stubbs for other missions, and they can pay pretty well. Now, there will be other missions assigned to Johnny by his biker gang, but Stubbs is usually a quick assassination or something to where you can make some money and buy some ammo or just start enriching your bank account. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video and enjoy them, hit subscribe. I put them out if I've kept pace at about four a week. And if you subscribe, I thank you. If you are a subscriber, again, I thank you. And I'm trying to monetize this channel a little bit. And subscriptions, likes, anything to let YouTube know that this channel is worth watching is appreciated. As always, thanks for stopping by.